What a world. This is CEO. Primarily uh, season one. Uh, we are the Minnesota Vikings sitting at four and three on week nine. I uh, got a tough and important game against the Washington Commanders, uh, coached by Wimmy, um, who were the Titans last year, uh, who is sitting at five and three right now. Um, it's going to definitely be a, a pivotal game for us regarding to uh, playoffs. Um, right now, it's, uh, it's the team leading East Div Division for the East: Rams, Bucks, Giants, Lions. Uh, Pax made his way back to seven and two, so we'll see how that work out. But then there's only two spots left, and there's one, two, three, four teams in the hunt right now. Um, all with three losses. So us and uh, the command is going to be it's going to be an important game. We already lost to the Eagles early in the year, so any tie with them, uh, we're going to take the L on that. So this will be kind of an important game for us if we're really going to make this push towards the playoffs. Um, so let's go ahead and look at their team. Uh, if anybody has any uh, tips about uh, the stream deck, I just upgraded OBS. Now my stream deck doesn't work. I'm using a Mac, uh, so I can't use my deck right now. Uh, Sam Howell is quarterback, decent speed, great um, throw power. Uh, but we, if we can get to him, we might make some problems. Antonio Gibson, we know we're very familiar with that. Gabe Neighbors. Uh, Terry McLaren is the number one with Dotson, Dak Maline, Ty Hilton, uh, Logan Thomas of the tight end, Pirate Funny Smith, Lino, left tackle, Andrew Norwell, left guard, Chase Rulier, center, Trey Turner, right guard, Sam Cosme, right tackle. See if we get some pressure. I Man, you know this front of four is nasty. Jace, uh, Chase Young, uh, James Smith Williams playing left end because he's set the speed. We're playing 3-4. John Allen, uh, Deron Payne. So you must have traded uh, what's we call away. Anthony Hitchens, Jamin Davis, and Cole Holcomb. The linebackers. You got Kendall Fuller, William Jackson, Benjamin St. Juice, cornerback, Bobby McLean, free safety, and Cameron Crow. Strong. Uh, man, that front four is going to be a problem. Um, especially with uh, John Allen. As you can see down here, the bomb X-Factor. Uh, they're top five offensive Team, um, they're number one ranked, us number 20. Uh, we're number two ranked defense, so it's gonna come to those two things. Um, uh, let's see how that works out for us. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this weekly strategy. Um, I feel this is gonna be a grinder, yeah, he's gonna be able to pass the ball. But I think if I can stop the run and make a one dimensional, that'll be the goal. Let's split everybody right here.
Texas. Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup set to go here between the Minnesota Vikings and the Washington Commanders. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in Week 9? It is fielded right at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. All right. <clears throat> oh, man. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. Take care of the ball, we'll be all right. Ah, that's how. That's how it okay. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. Three, four, Chase Young playing. Okay. This before being taken down at yeah, the 27. I tell you what, CD, this Washington defense, very strong in the victory last week. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. To throw his cousins. This motherfucker threw it right at him. Picked off by Cole Holcomb. And he's going to get this one to the 23 yard line. You threw it right at him. You threw it right at him. Right him. It's the right call, but you threw it right at him. Right at him. Man. How will they attack on offense? <sighs> Off play action. It's Hal. To the sideline. And wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able Damn, to get the feet right down his ass. That's not what we want. So give him five yards the first there on the man. pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Right. Hey, your field goes okay. And get him down right around the 16. It'll be a okay. pickup of a couple and it leaves him with a third and three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make Still plays is okay. uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Hal trying to pick it up on third. Eluding the pressure right. Good. Fuck. Got an open man and finds Gibson. If I could have been where I wanted to be, I could have played better. Down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a good effort there after the catch. He looked the ball in and then tried better. to get it to the goal line. What a nice tackle to get him down. But they're set up well now. First and goal at the one. Try to run with Gibson. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. 
This is where good coaching and execution come into play because now you're close. You absolutely don't want to turn it over. Good job keeping that in mind as he escaped, bought time, and decided throwing it away was his best option. Mm. Don't like it. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they got another hey, I'll take in it. You do it pick. Right now. No I'm going to say it's a bad read, but it could have been better. Somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. Then they should be happy. Get the hell up. Still early. The good things are in store here today, Paul. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they'll be looking to make amends for that first drive, which came to a rather abrupt ending. It certainly did. And I remember going back to my notes before this game, and a lot of times when I scout a guy, I have a little section about how does he handle adversity. And in this case, a big check mark. He may have thrown the first interception, but I don't think he's going to throw very many more. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play fake. Cousins looking here for Smith downfield. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown. Hey, good call, son. Herb Smith Jr. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Vikings are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. That was a nice little setup there off play action for the long touchdown pass. Yeah, I've got to tell you, it brings back bad memories for a guy like me as a former defensive back because in a playbook I knew a long time ago, we described that play pattern as draw pass nine go, meaning fly pattern after the play action pass, trying to hit him for the deep ball, and boy, were they successful on that one. So tough because his speed is so great. You've got to make sure you don't miss any cues or keys in order to try and keep up with him. Draw pass, nine go. That's still a nightmare to this day. Yeah, I still wake up in the middle of the night and feel the guy going past me. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to. Hey! Come on, score that. My goodness. Picked by the linebacker, Brian Asamoa. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So they Thank throw the pick six. Bounce. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. set ready for this next drive the Washington offense now remember they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six Ooh. And now this is intercepted my goodness Andrew Booth picks it off and he will take this one home it's a touchdown Joseph on for the extra point and it's 21 to 3 It happened really fast. So 
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Ah, uh, what you going to do? What are you going to do? The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group. I was about to say, this is going to be number big plays in this game, bro. This is number big plays in this game, bro. Nice drive. Play the drive, a success, 19 yards. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Good tackle, Kendricks. Down double digits, and we talked about their the game trade plan being both running like, yeah, and passing. There, you're right. Here. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Hal will keep this on the option. No, he should have ripped them. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Throwing on third down here. Ooh. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is away. This is taken at about the 14th. I'll just hold him to it. You had no corner. So a change Those of possession here on the punt, and it will be Vikings ball, first and ten. Still early, man. Still the first quarter. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes the field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a first quarter. Copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. On oh, second down, it's Cook again. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. That's feet. Been caught along the sideline and feet. what a job of keeping his feet in bounds. They say feet. that's a catch. You got the feet in. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. And this is a guy who last week not only helped his real team, uh, but really ooh, helped a lot of ooh. fantasy teams. Mm, yeah. They got a contender. Verdict. What's the verdict? Okay. Mm, I don't know about that one, but I'll take it. I don't know about that one, but I'll take it. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. First down, here's the run with Cook. 
And he'll be brought down right at the 45 yard line. I don't know about that one, but now, that I take it. That's an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create don't know about space, that one, but I take it. You've got to hit the jackpot there. Excuse me. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Cousins now. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 26. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Cousins gets way to Cook. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. On second and 11 now. Cousins. That'll be caught. It's Rager. Oh, God damn. Everybody get hurt. Before going out of bounds. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. times in this game and have not scored a single point can they yeah through see we fucking up the stats this is my first time in the red zone again it's cook it's my first time in the red zone touchdown minnesota delvin cook his seventh rushing touchdown of the year and no, the actually able to add on to their first no, the first time in the red zone joseph now to have the pat Oh. And they open the lead up now I got that one. Points. EA. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. All right. Act like a 0-0, zero, zero, man. Get another stop. Setting ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. 
Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Ross Blacklock on the tackle. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and six, just inside the 30. This one left side caught by Gibson. Yeah, why not go head up with him? That was stupid. That was the 38-yard line. That was stupid. That was a first me. down pickup of eight. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. So here's a first and ten at the 38. And here's a give to Gibson, and he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard That's there, and it's second and 11. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. On second down, here's Gibson again. I like it. I like it. I like it. About four up to the 40. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism. They created some nice space mm. for him. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Here's Hal. This to McLaurin out of cut. the left side. Good cut. And they're going to get this up to midfield. So you think it's not tough playing quarterback in the NFL? How about what we just saw there? The rush got Good cut. on third down. He had to nice. stand in Good there cut. and nice. take the shot as he released it. Throws on target nice. though, and it's good enough to keep the drive moving. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And they're going to get this to the 35-yard line. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. They'll check that down to Gibson out of the backfield. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Another throw for Howe. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Andrew Booth brings him down, and that's a play he's going to remember. The first sack of his NFL career. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. Hey, good. Gibson. Ooh, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And the Vikings pick up the football. Might get it back. His guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. 
He was trying to do anything he could that. to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much. Trying his best, as you noted, to get there. Sometimes no, that's a fumble. That's a fumble. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. They run the counter with Cook. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense. A little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them. But they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. On second and 12, Cousins. A good right fucking catch. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 27-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Yeah, that's the tricky part. You don't know which side's coming. But then now you just brought the safety down, so that's... Uh, you just brought the safety down. You brought the safety down. Here's Cook again. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown. Most cover for it. Hey. Delvin Cook. Halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Vikings just continue to roll. So two touchdowns for him on the ground in his first half. And that one, a thing of beauty. And just like his last touchdown run, we saw him be patient. How about his vision where he's able to identify where the opening was? And then how about the escort right down the field all the way to the end zone from his blockers? Joseph connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. Woo! Pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up! territory at the 13 yard line and careless with a football there on the kick return and one thing i love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize we haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick you don't hear tuck it away tuck it away tuck it away and this time they turned it over ball security eluded him 60 figures on straight to the two minute he has been tough to stop here this first half and there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps you don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. All right. You can be patient. You can be patient. From the five, here's Damn. second and two. Okay. Four, six. Uh, you could get over there. I don't think he will, but we'll take it. And now he shifted the shift. I could have cut in there. That's all good. Alright, so we know what we're going to do now. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. 
Hey, do me a favor. Put this here. No, no. Here, put that here. Alright, let's see what's going on. You got a couple plays in here. Alright, there's two. I don't like it necessarily. They are on top of you. That's fine. And, oh geez, let's hold on to it. Cause and the reinforcements come in as they're gonna stop him behind the line. Okay. Now the defense will burn their third Damn, and third. Damn, someone was third down. And That's with fine. Time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. That ah, fucked up. Four down, field goal try coming. So Cousins is off, and on comes Greg Joseph from Minnesota. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The so kick one. by Joseph is good. It's dumbass. So no, the big attention. return had him fired up, but now let's go the back to the same side. Out, they only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. I'm gonna leave him alone now. All right. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Make them work. 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 The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better That's a good lead pass, man. Coach will just be relieved, though. That's a good lead pass, man. Right? I think Coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone. That's a good lead pass, my friend. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down, Hal. Got this complete to John. Make a fumble. And they've got it well <sighs> across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Slings this deep from the corner. It's incomplete. That could have done problems. That's a, mm, I had a right call. Well he could have made a, a great throw, though. Process there. Catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. Great they tried throw, to hit them yeah. over the top unsuccessfully. <sighs> so after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Gibson here running out of the gun. Okay, I'll take that. Two you may want to take a loss. Okay. That's just running the ball 101 because too much east west, not enough north south. Got to get upfield, don't you? They just kept stringing him out, stringing him out before he knew it. He had hit the sideline. And the Vikings are going to beef up their secondary here. Six DBs on third. Throwing here, Howell. Able to connect with Dotson. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 29-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. I'll say where the fuck you at. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Second down throw for Hal. Yeah, we gotta get a sack there. He's gonna get rid of this thing to no one here. He He's gotta get a sack there. And now it's third. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now he'll 
look to throw it. Go get it. Fat boy, go get it. Pick up the football. And his guys are gonna get the football at the 23 yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two. I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. So we've reached halftime here. All right, man, that's good. Uh, first half for sure. Uh, three to five turnovers. We had one of our own was early. Uh, but let's keep it. Let's act like a zero zero. Zero zero. I'm not looking at the scoreboard. Um, you got to do the same thing. You can you can do the same thing as you just did. You, know, you just put 38, three suffocating defense. Now you can't let up. So just add like a zero zero. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done, and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely. But you just have to go out, take pride in your work, and try and put something together here in the second half. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll go play action. Powell. Now quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Back to throw. Howell being chased out left. He's got it to Hilton. And a good job defensively. They stopped him short of the first at the 32. Ah, uh, help me out, Kendricks. Dang. Good call. We kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Backed up where they were on this side of the field, that was a gutsy call. A gutsy call that never should have happened. Not so much them going for it. That's their decision. But where's the defensive front? Where's the leverage? Where's the low man win? Where's getting and he's gonna be intercepted for the third time thus far. I'm sorry, Kendrick is a cheat. Like him, I forgot the linebacker from 49ers. Uh I can't think of everybody's name that fit that category. They just got bounced. Yeah, he's one of them. So I know I know you like, God damn it, and I'm like, yeah. You're right. Game plan, it's in the garbage. Time to try something new in this one. Following the interception, Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 33 yards that time. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. 
Cook up the gut. Oh, this one was close, though. You almost, you almost, you almost got there. You was patient enough to get over to the edge. You almost got there. Sure field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. Throwing, Cousins. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. Sorry if I hit the mic. The touchdown pass, and the Vikings have taken a six touchdown lead. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, Parker, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, Time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to I think I'm supposed to be taking out my starters. I will, especially after this drive. I feel Remy is a, a sneaky opponent, and I know it's only 45 to 3 right now, but I don't want to take any chances. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Complete pass on second down. Now they need a yeah, big play here. here. Third and ten. And now the Vikings are going to stop it here on defense with a timeout. I felt like it's I hit the play first, button. So right two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Al down to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. But they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, he shifts past him. Yeah, I didn't want to get hit, so that's why I backed up that way. That's why I backed up that way. Uh, and I, I'm gonna keep going. My office is line of strides, but set this dude. You can come out. You can come out. Put Kiki here. Uh, but if I can play here with Lynch, yeah, uh, you can switch with him, keep your ass in, take your ass out, Peterson, boo, you too. Um, young fella, young fella. Jacobs out. Yeah, I'm with Jacobs here. And yeah. 
I'll give me boy here. There we go. All right, sorry about that, Mimi. But I ain't trying to lose any <laughs> players. <laughs> I ain't trying to. <laughs> I ain't trying to lose no players. I ain't trying to get nobody suspended. None of that right now. So, uh, we're going to do what we got to do. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Second down, here's Nwongu. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking. Mm, take my time. Really take my time. So defensive guys right now are talking about, uh, okay, this is three, four. what can we do? Now, last thing brought the safety down like that. It was called four. On That's third and short, they'll try and pick it up. I just picked off. Good job. One that's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby And he's able to get it back to the 41 yard line. Well, with the size of lead that this offense has, I don't think that interception's really going to affect them much. But at least for this defense, something small to hang their hat on. Yeah, and let's face it, they're not even scoreboard watching anymore, right? They're just trying their best to make a play, get themselves off the field, which they just did, and salvage a little bit of pride in this one. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he's going to get this down near the 25. A lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. Looking to throw again on second down. Powell. He caught on me. He caught on me. He caught on me. I bumped the guy. Ooh, he did it. I take the penalty there. They were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now how? Hey, that's a grab. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Ooh. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Vikings are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Up the middle, Nwangu. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. 
Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. All right now I'm a little confused. As it looks like, huh? I ever see. I'm On third down, he'll drop to throw. Rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller, and they will set up shot the right in call. enemy territory at the 42-yard line. It's so rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. From the 38, Powell. Over the middle, he gets it to Gibson. And he'll be brought down at the 27. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Down, how to throw. Ooh, Dantler. Goodness, another interception. It's Cameron Dantzler who picks it. And the Vikings will take over here at their own 12 yard line. Well, that is now his fifth interception thrown in this game. And Charles, you've got to tip your cap to this defense. I mean, they have been so impressive reading these passes, stepping in those lanes, and picking them off. Yeah, sometimes the best offense is an excellent defense, and they've done exactly that. What do you think, partner? A season's worth the highlights in just four quarters? I think that's what we're seeing from this group. Mm -hmm. All right, 45 three. And they won't be able to run it up. Um, time has expired third quarter we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports i'm gonna put the backups in we ain't been doing so well so let's see what happens here <clears throat> the loss of a yard there to start out that leads to a second and 11. they'll set up to throw drops this off with the long dude and they're able to bring him down at the 20. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll look to throw. Oh, I threw it to the wrong person. He's gonna flip oh, you got to wait. You got to wait one more. Play. I think everyone in the stadium saw that big hit coming. Sure. And I, as a former defensive back, have to admit I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> he actually was able to hold on to the ball. He brought the lumber on that play. Like blitz. Give my man a whole lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second down at five. Another run now for Nwangu. What an advantage having a elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. This offense so far on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and four. They'll look to throw here. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Osborne. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The last run got six, now second and four. Straight ahead, here's Nwangu. Oh, he and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Oh, you would. Ah! Near midfield, and it's Washington that scoops it up. The 20. A good joke. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10 yard line. That play felt like a show of work. In the backfield. All receivers I guess he didn't. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect No him. one else there to protect him. Mm, and he is into the end zone for the Washington touchdown. Brian Robinson Jr. with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Commanders are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. And CD, they just haven't had a whole lot to cheer about here. But it may be cliche, but give them credit for this. They've continued to fight and scratch and claw, and they get the touchdown here in the fourth. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked by the linebacker, Brian Asamoa. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. And the Vikings able to recover the hands team. Yo, these members went backwards first. Let's try to get this. Get Let's try to get out of here, man. I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more Excuse of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams 93% of the time, you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Here's a second and seven. And he's taken the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's oh, this ain't gonna work. Look at this front. Look at this goddamn front. On oh, the give is Nuwagu. Knife's his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. They'll go right back to the run and he is going to lose yardage here. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means if I want to run it inside, if you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. He'll drop to throw. 
Setting up the screen for Cook. Running right. Going to it. Don't go out of bounds, but that's fine. Before he crosses over out of bounds. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he gets it down close to the 10 yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with a lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That second down play nets a minus four. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. Out of the gun now on third down. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. Uh, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Second down and a run by Robinson. Oh, yeah, both got you? Get out of here. I both got. Back of lane down, greatest. Is he a starter? Can I play? The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009 2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Back to Robinson now on first down. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. 
This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down, a run with Gibson. And Two running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Pal throwing on third down here. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Kingsley Kiki in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. It certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camp, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for Minnesota, they improved to five and three as they approach the halfway point of this 17-game schedule. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Buffalo to take on the Bills. Meanwhile, for the Commanders, they'll lose an important one here as that drops them to five and four on the season. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Philly to face off with the Eagles. Alright, uh good game with me. Um game just got out of hand in the first half, really the first quarter. Um I think he had like back to back pick six or something like that. Um after we threw a pick. Um and we just was able to just solidify a lot of things and got some good um open passes. And was able to kind of just lock down everything else for the rest of the game. Um, so, nothing much on the ground. Uh, but 260 in the air. Uh, 16 first downs. Too many turnovers, man. Still four turnovers. Um, but that's probably because of Nick Mullins and the backup. So, I'm not that mad about it. But still, it's turnovers. Five and nine on third downs. Gets to 30%. Uh, that red zone number, I don't count because it's probably wrong. Um, and decent time possession on both sides. Uh, Kurt, 8 for 9 for 216. Um, Sam Howell went 13 for 27 for 141. 80% uh, percent completion rating or percentage with a 118 passing rating. Uh, just one pick. Um, 24. Uh, was able to, I think we, we created eight turnovers, man. And it only gave up four, but there was really, I would say, one or two. Not until the second half, uh, second sec string got in the game, so uh, decent carries here. Um, uh, Gibbs out of the backfield, Jalen got a couple of big passes, uh, Irv did too. Uh, so, damn, Adam Thielen got one, 
Uh, Bright Bear gave up a sack, but defensively, man, Kiki got a sack. Booth got one. Uh, Josh Cameron got picked. Brian, Andrew, Eric got picked. Um, we call some fumbles. So, man, it's just a lot of turnovers, man. Uh, 21-3 in that first and then knocked down. Uh, the rest of the game, got a turn, uh, touchdown somewhere in here, so that's wrong, too. Um, but we had to keep that momentum going. This game was kind of pivotal for us um, if it comes down to tiebreakers in the playoff race for the wild card. So uh, we'll lose against the Eagles because they beat us, but at least we got the tiebreaker against the Commanders because women, women would definitely be there um, for sure. So. Uh, take the good out of it. Still look at the bad, what we did wrong. Um, still want to be a little bit more cleaner uh, with our passing and our defense, man. Um, but it's a good win here. Solid win. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Like, comment, subscribe, man. This is CEO. I'm out.